All right, and we have made it. Here we go, a spiral. One of the things I was most excited about Soapy Tail was spiral. Spiral this way, spiral. Spiral is this way. Going down. Oh, down, down, down. Perfect, thank you boss. Now, I mean, you probably heard me talk about it and talking about it and talk about it, but spiral is like one of the most places to eat Manila. And so we're gonna do it. I got a six o'clock reservation. I'm here by myself. What's better than going by yourself to one of the greatest buffets in Manila? I didn't stay here though. I got, I got more perks to Conrad and they're about five minute drive apart. Hello. I have a reservation, six o'clock. Okay, may I know the name, sir? Max, M-A-X. Okay, last name, please. McFarland, M-C-F, just okay, Y. Sir, Mom, is it your first time here in Spiral? Yes. Would you like Miss B to give you a tour of the buffet area? Yeah, that'd be great. What's your name? Yeah, my name is B, sir. V. I gotta see, oh, V, just yes, V. Sir. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, uh, here in Spiral, so we have 21 dining atelier. Okay. Okay, and this section, sir, we have, um, Thailand, Filipino, Korean food. Okay, lots yes. of Asian food. That's correct. We also have here steamed basket. Okay. Okay. And Asian noodles. Okay, perfect. And then this on this side, sir, we also have the salad and appetizer. Okay. Yes, and we also have the North Indian food for the um, Indian uh, brothers. Oh wow! All Indian here. All the copper, everything. That's correct. All the tandoor. And, uh, of course, we have here the Central Market uh, seafood. That's impressive. Okay. And for us, so we a different kind of steak. Okay, perfect. Wow. And of course, you have here the uh, cold Japanese. No. Okay. <laughs> and sashimi. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're not even halfway through. Yeah. Have you eaten here before? Uh, yes. How many times? Uh, once. Just once? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, we also have here the French kitchen. Okay, French over yeah. here. And the lavandere, uh, different kind of bread. Uh huh. Of spiral, the cheese room. It's all, this is a room of cheese. That's correct. Okay. And also have the hot Japanese. Okay. Yeah, tempura, very often. Okay. And on this side, we have the steak, uh, I mean dessert. Okay. And uh, chocolate room. I show okay. you. Hello. Oh my gosh. Are you from Manila? From Manila? Yeah, are you? Yes, I am. Nice, what part? Um, from uh, Quezon City. I've not been there yet. Okay. <laughs> are you staying here, sir, for good or? Not so Tell me, Conrad. Oh, in Conrad. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh my. Here's so where the dessert one, start. Sir, uh, we have chocolate room and dessert. Right. Yeah, the creamery and uh, ice cream, all and um, different kind of fruits. Okay. Wow. Um, Would you like to proceed now to your table, sir? Sure. Let's go to the table. Oh my gosh, ice cream. I hope you're there. I sure will. It's crazy. Oh, this is me. I'll sit here. Thank you. Yeah. No, it's okay. I can do it. I, I feel weird having a girl do that part for me. I'm supposed to do it for the lady. Awesome. Well, sir, uh, please be advised. Our buffet starts at 6 to okay. 9.30. Okay. And our buffet uh, includes hot coffee or hot tea. Okay. And if they wish to add alcoholic drinks or cold drinks, we'll be additional. Sir. Okay, yeah, I would need some alcohol. All right, are you staying with us, sir? Sorry. No, 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 I'm in Conrad. Okay. I'm not staying. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. Um, I will introduce you to your server. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, V. Have a great day. This is going to be so much fun. Hello. Hey, Bob. How are you? Awesome. Signature spiral bread. Oh, they are too... I mean, of course, you knew the, the hospitality was going to be great, but it is insane here. Just even here to my left, there's like six types of bread, six types of butter. I could just fill up on bread and butter and I'd be happy. I just want to try some bread. It's supposed to be like really pure. I think they said just something in walnuts. I did not hear it. A little balsamic, a little oil. Yeah, I could just eat that all day. I'd be happy. Don't make me fill up on this. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're coming to me? Yes. Oh, man. Look at your cool rolly table here. Okay. Are you a wine expert? Uh, I have one. You know enough, you know more than me. What do you recommend? Uh, what do you like, sir? I usually like like white, not very sweet. Not, uh, not, not sweet, yeah, more dry. Okay, let's do that. Savion Blanc from New Zealand. 
Perfect. 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 If I did a whole bottle by myself, I don't know if I could find my hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I was talking about. There's like two, four, six, eight, ten types. Butter everywhere. More rolls. That's one of 20 sections. Okay, let's, I guess, start with a salad. Oh, they can toss it and do like a signature Caesar salad. Or you could kind of do your own thing. They've got every leafy green vegetable you could ever think of right here. Yeah, do you make it here? Okay, perfect. I guess whatever makes a Caesar salad, yeah, everything would be good. There's a the dressing. So they kind of got like a, a board tray in here, but I think you normally do it in the Parmesan. There's the Parmesan out there. Crouton chicken, they got bacon, they got cherry tomatoes. And I do believe what is little, little prawns over here. Thank you. What's your name? Joanna. Sir. Thank you, Joanna. Woo. Okay, let's get a salad. Let's grab some other stuff. You should have seen it. As soon as it hit six o'clock, everybody just rolled in here. I've got like prime seating right here. Look at the seating. I'm so close. Try to find a soup. Go to the French. I bet you the French have some soups. Oh, it's not open yet. Hello, how are you? I'm a what, what do you recommend from the French side? It depends, sir. Would you, we have truffle mushroom pizza, sir. Okay. The mushroom pizza is. Yes, sir. Can I try a piece of mushroom pizza? And do you have a soup that's good here? Um, we have mushroom soup, sir. Lots of mushroom here. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, braised short rib, pork loin, with mustard greens, stuffed tomato with spicy coulis. One mushroom soup, sir. Yeah, let me try a mushroom soup, please. That'd be great. Oh, you get the lobsters over here. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I definitely want a lot more, but it's a good start. I don't know what to do. I'm like overwhelmed right now. My senses overwhelmed. What else do I need to start? Looks like I roast chicken. They got boneless lamb, ribeye. Oh, they got a big baked salmon here. They got like prime rib down here. What is this down here? Cool. Oh, three types of sauce. Lemon butter sauce, truffle cream sauce, or barbecue sauce. Uh, I want that ribeye. Rib no, let me just do the ribeye. What sauce do you recommend? Uh, the truffle sauce. Okay, let's do truffle sauce. Oh, can't get it. Back to the cut man. Perfect, that'd be perfect. With the truffle sauce. Thanks, brother. Oh, they got dry aging meat. Let's go. Max, how you stay in shape? Well, you get a salad, and this is the farthest way you could get from a healthy salad. But it feels weird to come to a buffet and not start with a salad. From the time when I was as young as I can remember, going to the Chinese buffets in America and still getting a salad. I always have to have a salad to start a buffet. And you know what goes good with salad? Pizza. I just need like some red crushed pepper flake. Look at that, undercarriage. I'm sounding like Dave Portney, aren't I? Okay. I mean, the fact that they have like 10 pies out there. Mm. A little doughy, not as crisp as I like. That mushroom is a gorgeous flavor. Oh, perfect. The hard thing is like, while you're eating at your table, you see everybody up there getting more stuff. You almost kind of get anxious. You have like a FOMO. I know it sounds stupid, but you kind of have FOMO. Maybe that's just me. I feel like I should try the soup next, but the prime rib right here. Or I'm sorry, the ribeye. Prime rib. Whatever. Whatever it was up there. It's stealing the show. Truffle. Truffle sauce? Ooh. That was awesome. Tender. Juicy. Truffle sauce was a good call. I like that everybody knows what to recommend here too. Cause it's like so much is overwhelming, but everybody's stationed. Everybody's kind of got like their, what they're good at in their stations and they know they can re recommend you stuff. Mm. Not to mention this is so much. And I literally said for one person, 
not really a soup guy, but I'll always try it out. Ooh, that should be a soup guy. Wow. Maybe I just never knew that I'm a mushroom soup guy. It gotta be like something like that. That's why they're so delicious. You think you could dip the mushroom pizza in the soup? Yeah, you can. So the people to my, my right, yeah, my right, seem like experts. And they had the lobster and like lots of sashimi, so I'm gonna follow them. Can I try the butter garlic lobster? How many cheeses are Uh, just two. Like two halves. That'll do perfect. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is like, gotta be prime time right here. I'm about to eat a boat of sushi. See if you can get the Japanese people coming to eat sushi. Aburito namaki, yeah, one of those. Can I get the spicy salmon sashimi? Uh, whatever you recommend, you just help me out. <laughs> uh, got lots to choose from. Do you like on the beach? That's a lot. I don't need that much. I'll just take like three, three of your top ones. Thank y'all so much. Ooh. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, okay. We're moving on the seafood, seafood round. I mean, this is one eighth of everything. We got sashimi, and we got lobster. Let's just try something simple like the nigiri. Nigiri means like the clasp, right? So they're clasping the rice and putting a piece of fish on it. Try not to get the soy sauce on the rice. I really need some chopsticks. I'll tell you the truth. My fork skills and my spoon skills, my knife, suck. Lobster. They're pretty good size too. I mean, for the fact that you can get as many pieces as you want, it's really insane. Oh man. That is a lot of butter. This is one I was actually most excited about, this sushi place. It was like the spicy salmon. It almost looks like a poke, doesn't it? From like Hawaii. When I eat sushi with a fork, I just feel like my, my American parents who don't know how to use chopsticks. The room of cheese will be assaulted by us. Oh yeah, let the door close. Bye bye door. Oh, come on in. I did not know. Oh, it smells good in here. Hello, how are y'all? Oh, can I have some of your... We oh, you have some brie here. Do you have any blue cheese? Oh, blue cheese is over here. Oh, you got the... Wow, you got the gouda. Oh, le gruyere. I don't have any jam or anything. Oh man, I didn't even see their hard cheeses over here. Can I get some honey? Just a little bit of honey. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Oh, good door. Ah, uh, it's me and like the white people. Okay, 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 okay. Max, I didn't know you're such a cheese guy. Well, yes, so <laughs> story time. I used to work at Whole Foods. I used to work in the cheese section, beer section, and coffee section. So I used to have to wake up at like 7 a.m. or get to work at 7 a.m., right? And cut blues on Thursdays. So I love blue cheese. Like I, I can remember it vividly. It was, a, it was a very turning point in my life because it reconnected me with my food working at Whole Foods. So yeah, I used to work in a cheese counter. So yes, I love cheese. Honestly, blue cheese with a little bit of sweetness and a cracker. It's the best. Honestly, it was probably one of my favorite cheeses, like a gorgonzola. This is Munster cheese. They had a whole section of stinky cheese. And that whole stinky section of cheese would make durian look like child's play. Okay. Cheese section review done. I know you are bored. Okay, I'm feeling bad for the Asian section over here. There's like nobody over here. Gotta give it a look, right? Gotta give it a, at least a look through. Oh, they got all the roasted hanging meats here. Hello, how are you? Can I try the honey pork in the duck? Oh, I've been, I used to live in Hong Kong. So the fact they got the hanging meats is like calling to me right here. Oh, I'm gonna have to pause because I only got two hands. I would not say it's the strangest assortment I've ever had, but it's pretty strange. Like olives and pickles and baba ganoush and Middle Eastern things, Singapore chili and crab, and like Hong Kong roasted meats. I have an equal opportunitist. I need my wine guy to come back. Jornal, where you at? Jornal, I need you. Okay, let's get our hands in here. 
It's not chili crab. I think it's gonna be super sticky. I wish I had a wet wipe. A little bit. Oh, <laughs> there's that heat. I'm gonna say a little bit on the sweet side, but that heat came in. Oh my gosh. Like I said, the thing that made me excited were the hanging meats. I gotta try out that right there and that duck. I've always heard when it comes to cooking, sauce can cover a thousand sins. That's what that does. The sauce is so good. I really don't care that the, the, the skin's not that crispy. And now for the part that I know y'all love me for. Dessert. Oh, I love fruits, but not now. We got three types of chocolate fountains right here. Like milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate. Hello, how are you? Do you have any little pastries that are number one that you recommend? Can I try one of these? And a lemon meringue. A little banana foster, butterscotch. Can I try a butterscotch? Perfect, just three pieces please. Thank you so much. I don't know what you could hear or anything, but this looks pretty good. How do you get things dipped in chocolate? I think you can do like a marshmallow. Oh yeah, they're just marshmallows. Well, a little underwhelming. I want I want everything dipped in there. I just want to put this plate in there. And yes, coffee almond fudge, salted caramel. Uh, it's very warm. I don't know how to explain that. So so much warmer I thought it'd be. Actually, just tastes like really warm whipped cream. The concept I do like about here is this: you can come here, get here at six when they open. Start eating. Then what you're gonna do is after you eat for an hour, you're gonna get really full. So then you're gonna talk with your friends for an hour and then you come back and eat again because they don't close till like nine or 9.30. You can do two rounds. Well, that's pretty good. I think the lemon meringue will be the winner though. Nope. Actually, they're all three pretty good though. I think the winner had to be the first one though. This like Paris cream one. And that will do it. Goodbye everybody. Thank you to everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> They'll wait. Um, the dinner was only like 4,011 and like 30 cent pesos, whatever that would be. The Savion Blancs would get you. That was uh, 1,786 and like 84 cent pesos, whatever. I, I know I'm saying that wrong. It was fun. I mean, the people are so dang friendly. It's great service. Uh, and just the variety of food you can get is unreal. Like you just can't match the variety with the service with the quality. Definitely a must eat buffet when in Manila, at least even just once, probably two or three times. We'll catch you at the next one.